five of the most common school dreams, their meanings, and their interpretation from number five. Number five, dreams of examinations. When you see yourself doing or having an examination in a dream, it means that you're going through a season of testing. The Bible shows us that the children of Israel had a season in which they were tested, but because of their unbelief, they spent 40 years in the wilderness. So you need to understand that when you're being tested, it is because you're about to be qualified for something. So the reason why many say dreams of going back to school are dreams of stagnation. It is because one would have gone through the tests and they failed the test. The dream is not indicating that you're going through a season of stagnation, but it's indicating a test that you should take so that through this test, you can be qualified for the next season of your life. So many people, though they have these dreams, they don't pick up that it's not just a dream, but it's a dream that indicating a test or a trial that you're going through that is key to the promotion that God wants to bring. Remember, the Bible says God weighs the hearts of man. So at times God is in a way allowing you to go through something so that you qualify for the promotion that you're supposed to have. Number four, dreams of specific teachers. I remember a certain person say that I had a dream of a history teacher. Are you picking it up? When you are talking about history, it means past issues. So when you have a dream where there is a teacher that's involved, first of all, look at what the teacher represents. What area does that specific teacher represent? If you're able to pick up what area that specific teacher represents, let's say a history teacher, the person said, I had a dream and there was a history teacher. And strangely, that person was eating also in the dream, in the class, and the person was eating meat. So the moment that they say the history teacher and they said meat, I picked up one thing. They are dealing with an addiction. It's a past issue or a past addiction that they are failing to deal with. So each teacher means a specific thing. Let's give you an example of a maths teacher. Maths, it means being able to work out life problems. So if you're seeing a maths teacher, it means that you're failing to work out life problems. A history teacher, it means that you're dealing with past issues, past habits, past things that you're failing to overcome. Number three, dreams of friends. Many people have had dreams where their friends were involved. First of all, when you're seeing a high school friend, a primary school friend, and you're at school, you need to first understand what that specific friend represents. If that friend was a symbol of, let's say, someone would encourage you to do well in class, someone would challenge you to do well in class, then that is what they represent. If it's a friend that you acted foolishly with it, with them, then that is what they represent. So each dream, when you're having a dream and there is a friend, you have to pay attention what that friend represents. What that friend represents is what that dream is saying to you. It's an area that needs to be worked on. Number two, dreams where your pen is missing, where you find out your stationery is missing, your pen is failing to write. What is a pen? A pen is a gift. It is what you use to be able to do or to work out life problems. Let me give you an example. It is a gift. The Bible says a man's gift maketh room for him. So when you're seeing yourself, your pen is not writing. It means that your gift is not effective. Your gift is the key to the increase or the promotion that God wants to bring in your life. So when you're seeing a dream and the gift, the gift, the gift is not functional or the pen is not functional, it means that the key is to discover the gifting that you carry so that you can be able to write the examinations of life and prosper. Number one, dreams where you see yourself being punished in school. When you're seeing yourself being punished in school or going through some form of difficulty in school, it means that it's judgment. There are things that you're going through that are not your fault. That might be your fault, but you're being judged for an error that happened. Most of the times when you see punishment in a dream, it means that it's some form of demonic manipulation. So you need to pay attention to details. Let me go back. Dreams of going back to school are different. You might have a dream of going back to school and it's an examination. It means something that is different from you being with your friends. So we don't interpret all the dreams of going back to school in the same way. You need to pay attention to the dream. Let me just show you, first of all, how you interpret a dream quickly. 
When you're interpreting a dream, you break down the dream. What do I mean? You have to separate the details. Remember when I spoke about the history teacher, you have to focus on the history teacher. You have to focus on the classroom setup. You have to focus on what people are doing in the classroom. You have to focus on what you are doing. So each and every detail matters. It's not just about saying that I had a dream of going back to school. The reason why many, though they're having dreams of going back to school and the dream cannot be fully interpreted is because they are not telling or showing the details to the dreams. So when you are interpreting a dream, you need to, first of all, separate the dream so that the details are clear. So the reason why I showed you that dreams of going back to school are different, it is because many have been focusing on dreams of going back to school as just one type of dream. So you need to break down the dream. When you're breaking down the dream, that's when you notice it's an examination dream. That's when you notice it's a dream that's speaking about my gifting. That's when you notice the teacher. So you have to focus on the whole dream on all the symbols, separate them, and then you can be able to fully interpret your dream. My desire is for you to not only understand what this dream of going back to school means, but all your dreams. And I pray God will awaken you to the language of dreams. God bless you.